Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can use a summary sheet field in order to bring in data from another cell, another sheet, and so you can draw on that information for use in that separate sheet. So let's have a look and show you what I mean. It's easy to see that way. So in this case, I've got a project portfolio view and I've got portfolio risks. And these are pulled from a variety of different projects. Now, in this case, I'm not using control center, so I'm using the standard setup with sheets. And so I have a report and I want in each sheet it to say the project name. So the project name is included in the project metadata sheets that I create as part of the PMO solution. And you've got two choices. The standard default solution is whenever you create a report, which is what this is created from, if I press that to open up, you can see the report. By default, it adds in the sheet name um, on this piece. And so you can go with the sheet name. The challenge here is the sheet name can often be quite long and a bit ugly in that sense. Whereas if I go back here and I want to use the project name, because you can see I'm using the project name elsewhere, I just want to keep it short and sharp. And so I insert the project name. So the question is therefore, how do you get that to come into every single sheet? So what you can do is you can have a column which has that written in, but the challenge is if you're adding new items, how do you get it to always populate with that information? The best way to do this is to use the sheet summary. So what you can see here is I've got the sheet summary and we've got the project written in here, and that's what it says. So I can take this out, you can see I've got four at the moment, and I can just put another project in here. So demo name, if I enter that, oops, if I enter that, you'll see that this, these have updated to that side as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that bit because instead what I've got is I've got a formula in here and it's pulling from my project metadata sheet here. So what? how am I doing that? Well, the challenge is normally if you're going to put a formula into here, there is no way of adding, if I look and say, how do I add in a, um, there's a a cell link, if I'm right clicking, I haven't got a way to actually cell link. Whereas if I'm in a sheet here, I can link to cell from another sheet. Sheet summary, you don't have that opportunity. So what you do is you have to start creating a formula. So the quickest one is to say if, and then you open the brackets. And what it does is it brings up this opportunity to reference another sheet. So if you click reference another sheet, it goes in and it looks at all the sheets you've got there. And we're gonna to go to the productive demo and I've got to scroll down to to find the right one obviously got quite a lot of demo assets here property portfolio i'm going to go up one and see so I go to the right one and in this case we are in club card and so i'm looking for the metadata sheet here and so project metadata sheet i'm now looking at this bit and i'm going to say link it here now normally best practice would be to well just put the project name so i'm going to put in project name and I'm going to insert the reference. So in our things, I'm going to carry on doing the formula, but all I need to do at this stage now is just take away the if formula at the beginning and press enter. And you can see it's pulled back club card on that basis. So now I've got formula here, which is just pulling up the project. So again, what I've got written here is to, in order to bring a field from the sheet summary, what you do is you write the name of the field and if needed, you need to put the square brackets around it um, if it's got a, a longer name. Um, in this case, I don't. And then you just put the hashtag at the end of it and it knows it's from a sheet summary field. So that way then, oops, I come out. And then what I can do now is I can turn this to a column formula and that way then any new item, if I go into here, new item, will automatically have that added as a column formula. And again, I always try to use column formulas wherever possible. So by having this added in, then that is a sure way to know that you'll always have the project in going in here. So you can do this on your timelines, on your raid log, on your change logs, on anything. Again, you, you can do this manually in terms of the project, but you'd have to remember to do that each time. Whereas if you've got this set up as a link and you're using a PMO solution, then go forwards, that link will always just bring in the name as it's set up. So again, that way, then I can pull in that data from a different sheet. If something changed in the other sheet, that's the way you do it. Again, so it's about a little hack here in terms of starting to write a formula, get it to reference another sheet, and then get rid of the first bit of the formula at the beginning, and then you're good to go. So again, useful little tip, and 
that's been very useful to me now um, in terms of when I'm doing things which aren't within control centers to be able to have what I want accessed on my sheets. So thanks for watching and more stuff to follow. Bye for now.